Hey YouTube, this is Cursed, and today I'm going to be showing you how to extract Elsword characters and import them to MMD as animatable models using PMX Editor. If any of you are wondering, yes, I had a tutorial up on this earlier this week, I think two days ago, but I was alerted in the comments section that the audio and video got out of sync. I looked up how to fix it, and it's supposedly as simple as swapping two options, so I changed the options on Hypercam and I'm trying again. So to do this, you're going to want to make sure you have Elsword installed. Don't go looking for the files on the internet, because they could very well be just viruses. Plus, I'm pretty sure the files can't be redistributed. So download the game. Then you're going to have to find out where the game is installed and open up that folder. For mine, it's located through Steam, so you're going to want to go to Local Disk C, and then Program Files or Program Files x86, depending on whether you have a 32 or 64-bit operating system. Steam, Steam Apps, either Common or the name of your Steam username, and then Elsword. Under here, you're going to want to open up the data folder. And then down here, you're going to have about 130 to 150 data, and then a number.com. These are the files you're going to be working with. It looks a bit daunting, but it's actually not that complicated. The ones we're going to need are 15, 17, 18, 19, and 20. These represent an individual character apiece. I don't know what Chung is, he's somewhere I've read in the range of 100 to 130, but I don't know which one. Probably, if I were to take a guess, probably 10, no, it's probably not 107, because I read it had like 1s and 3s in it. That was it, I think. Anyway, you're going to want to copy the one you want to extract, I reckon all of them, just copy them, but I'm just going to take 18 which is Eve. I'm going to be explaining this tutorial with Eve. Don't oh, don't extract them here, and don't extract these specific files, because you can easily corrupt them and permanently corrupt the game unless you reinstall it. So I very strongly recommend copying it and pasting it somewhere else. Now I'm going to go over here and put down the data18.com. Now you're going to want to open up your Elsword extractor which this is the program that I found works relatively well, and you just take your data 18 or your number data whatever dot km and drag it in. While it's red, it's extracting. Don't do anything while it's extracting. If you do, you will likely corrupt the file. Yes, it does go not responding for a while, but... Okay, now it's done extracting. You can close out the extractor, and now this is what you have to work with. The way the files are organized is usually a mesh, and then the character's name and then a tag of some sort, and then explaining the rest of the items. Now, if you want a particular, like, promotion class item, just type in the character's name, put an underscore, and then there is a two to three letter code that represents what the specific um, promotion item is. If you noticed, I have two here. ENS is Eve Nemesis. And E.T. is Eve Electra. I, it's a, this one's a bit strange. It's just E.T. But, for example, the Raven Blade Master would be Raven R.B.M. And Elsword Infinity Sword would be Elsword E.I.S. They mostly follow that pattern, so it's not too difficult to find them. If it is, just look around for the ones that you haven't seen and import those and try them out. Anyway, I'm going to search for Eve E.T., and I'm skipping over the weapons. We don't need the weapons for now. So I'm going to take the up body sorted and up body, low body sorted and low body, hand sorted and hand, hair sorted and hair, and then foot sorted and foot. Copy those and paste them where we're going to be working with the model. Right now I'm just going to paste them over here. Now you've got your files prepared. So what you're going to want to do is open up your PM or PMX editor. This, if any of you have the same issue as me, it will load up and then put a little pop-up saying it doesn't open. I don't know if any of you click the OK every single time to make it go through the, like, the, um, all the pop-ups, but that can be time-consuming and can take a few minutes. I've got a quicker way, which you'll see momentarily. Just hold the Enter key. And those are all the pop-ups gone. Anyway, you're going to want to, well, have a new file. And actually, for now, I'm just going to explain what the user interface does. I'm going to skip over these bars because we don't need them just yet. This is the file menu that is control, or that is new, that is open, that is save as, that is save. These buttons here are unnecessary with the exception of these two. This is import, and then that's export. 
Import's going to be used a lot in the creation of models. Export is only used for the creation of weapons and potential other items that aren't actually characters. This is the edit menu, and it's same with the view menu and the info menu. This is just the version number. You will need this later on in the tutorial, which will include the really complicated features, but that's in a different version, which I will probably have a link to in the description come that video. Anyway, you're going to want to File, Import, and then select the five files and open them. Now, this box has all the, fi or the um, options selected correctly with the exception of one-tenth. Select one-tenth. If you do one or ten, you're going to end up with a character way too large for MMD. If you hit OK, it's going to import in PMX view this, which it's something, but not that very recognizable as anything. Now, file, save as, and I'm going to put it in the same location as the rest of the files, which I recommend you doing the same. Just call it Eve, Code Electra, save. And now if you go over to the fourth tab, I'm not going to explain what these are just yet, and just click any of these, put a space inside that box and delete it, and it will update all the textures. Then you can save it again with the file, and then just the button with the U. Now you've got a basic model. Right now, just to get these this finished up, you're going to want to um, make sure you have a face. To do that, I kind of forgot to copy it. So go to where your data extracted folder is and search for face. Most characters have just the same face across all like class changes. So you're going to want to select the mesh, the character's name, cache, face, and then the same thing with face sorted at the end. Elsword is an example of a character that has different faces, so for the Infinity Sword, you have a different face than you do for the actual character Elsword. You're going to want to have to pay attention to that, elsewise you'll end up with a character whose face does not match. Anyway, make sure you import that also. I kind of forgot to in the first place, but it doesn't matter the order they're imported so long as they're actually imported. Uh, here's the face. Make sure it's one-tenth again, and I'm just going to update it. Now if we go over here, you can see you have all the parts, the face, the upper body, the hands, the lower body, the legs, and then the hair. And now it looks like a mess. But for now, you've got the basics of the model. In the next episode, I'm going to be explaining the basics on how to clean up the model and make it look like an actual model, along with explaining the rest of the user interface. Thanks for watching, and I hope you see the next, or I hope you can come back for the next one. Please comment, like, rate, subscribe, and I'm out. Thanks for watching.